Okay, this is uh, pretty exciting uh, for me. There's a statue of Sam Jones, aka Abiyaka, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, on the Mikasuki Seminole Reservation uh, over in the Big Cypress. And it's this beautiful statue way up on a hill. They won't let you near it, long story short. They, you know, I guess you got to be an Indian to go there or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> they won't let you up there. But you can see it from afar, but you can't really tell anything about it. You can't see any details or anything. But this is really cool. This um, this guy was a major Seminole spiritual leader. Not a battle leader. Not a combat veteran or whatever. Not a combat leader. But a spiritual leader. So in the way, I guess, the Sitting Bull was out west, they would you know come to him. He would shake things on him and say some words over him. And they'd go out and kill all sorts of white guys. Um, he was, he was that for them. And, and he is a major. He's right up there with the other big ones of the Second Seminole War. Um, he lived here for a time. No one knows how long, but this, where I'm standing, is the western end of Pine Island Ridge. Um, which was, as we explained in the other video, there was, uh, Pine Island is was an island, it's the highest elevation in the county. Um, it was an island surrounded by water because the Everglades uh, surrounded it. We're, we're in um, the eastern Everglades, part of the eastern Everglades, but it's all been drained and, and you know, it's all houses and roads and 7-Elevens and stuff now, so it doesn't exist in that form anymore. And going back through to the uh, east, uh, at the eastern side of Pine Island Ridge, Pine Island, um, or I guess it's actually Pine Islands. It was a series of islands. Um, there's just a bunch of these exercise trails and things like that going through it, so you really don't get a chance to see anything, um, archaeologically speaking, or even topographically, topographically speaking. Um, it's just you know all through the woods and the trees and over some hills and all that so you don't really get a chance to see much about it um here comes some loot so i gotta be quick but this is a really cool statue i think except everything i've read about the guy talks about his long flowing locks and they sort of omitted those here sort of did what they think their idea of a seminal should be so um, it was, or maybe he, by the time this, this is supposed to have taken place, he, he cut his hair, I don't know. Um, This tells about him if you want to, if anyone wants to freeze it and read it. Um, major, major cool thing for me.